Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Thanks for joining us again. We're going to look at Final Cut Pro with Mark Spencer today. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm supposed to do Final Cut. I'm doing some motion and some Final Cut. Okay, so some together. integrated motion Final yeah, Cut stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're so tied together now that I can't help but talk a little but bit you, about Final Cut Pro. In fact, you would recommend having, if you're a Final Cut Pro user and a motion, you just got to have both. There's a million reasons to have motion, even if you never really use motion to do anything. And this is a great example of, of one reason you might want to have it. Okay, so yeah. let's see it. Yeah. So we're talk the, the context is something called adjustment layers, okay? And an adjustment layer is something in, in Photoshop or After Effects that is a layer that you place above other layers and you add effects to it and it affects everything else. I see. It. So instead of applying effects to each individual layer, you just apply it to this one layer yes. and it affects... and it affects them yeah. all at once. That so sounds like it'd be really handy in Final Cut. It would be handy and there's no way to do it directly, but there's this cool trick to do it. And so I can't do it directly in front of us, is what you're saying. Yeah, well, you need to use um, you need to use a motion title to do it. Okay. So the aforementioned motion that you there, need. There you go. That's how they come out. together. Okay. And, and I can't take um, all credit for this tip because this is something that multiple people have discovered um, across the Internet, and it's been, it's been around for a little while. There's a guy named Alex Gallner that does Alex4D WordPress, yeah. does, a great, uh, does a great blog there, and a guy named Tapio Haj who also has mentioned it. Um, so I want to make sure those guys uh, get credit for what they've talked about, but it will show people how you can use it in a diff couple different contexts. So here's the basic setup. Um, I'm in Final Cut Pro. I have here a secondary storyline, which, which you were we talking talked about. about. We yeah, did, a few yeah. episodes back. Yeah, so I'm using my secondary storyline. In fact, I just rearranged a couple clips in the secondary storyline for this. Um, I have several clips here that I want to uh, color correct um, because they're kind of washed out. And generally, you might have a series of clips that you want to color correct in the exact same way. Right, because they're from the same camera roll or what Same camera roll, shot yeah. at the same time, yeah. and you know, yes, you can copy color corrections or you can save them as a favorite and, and stuff like that, but this, I want to show you like an easier way that not only will handle color corrections, but affects Any transformations, effects. anything, and you can you choose exactly how much it affects. Now, it takes a title, and unfortunately, there's no titles in Final Cut's browser that will that are up to the task. So, they, the, so the title becomes effect an adjustment layer. Exactly. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Motion, and in Motion, I'm going to choose to create a new Final Cut title. It's got to be okay. a title. Got to be a title. Uh, I'm going to choose. Actually, it doesn't really have to be a title, but um, that's a subject okay. for another day. Okay. I'm going to make it large, the 10, 1920 by 1080. Uh, duration doesn't really matter. I'm going to say open and shift Z just to fit it to the so window. It makes a big background there. Yeah, the key is this, this thing called title background, that's called the placeholder, and that's any video that's underneath the title. That will show through. That you... will be affected by this title, okay? By... okay? So normally what you do, if you want to use this title background, you could add filters here and you could transform it, but for our purposes, we're not going to do anything to this except for deleting the text layer. Okay. Don't want to see the text layer, just delete it, and we're done. Done. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to choose file. I'm going to command S to save it. Okay. Uh, Call that adjustment layer. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Well, first I need a. Ca I'm going to create a new category, and let's just call it uh, special, because it's very special. It, it is special. Okay. And then I'll call the template name adjustment uh, layer. Okay. okay. And then I don't need to include a theme or any other stuff. I'll say publish. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. So let's go back to Final Cut. We'll go to the Titles browser. Where we would expect to find a special category. Special, right below Ripple Callouts. Right. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, there's our adjustment layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to where I want it to start, about there, let's say. I'll select the adjustment layer and press Q for a Connect Edit. Then I'll just trim it back. And the nice thing is I can make this as long or short as I want. Uh, place a playhead over a clip and select it. And we see nothing. This, right? There's, right, it's a this, title with no content at all. That's right. Right, but if we go over to the video inspector, I can now make a color correction to the title, and because that title had a placeholder, it'll pass through. So I'll, I'll select the first correction, and let's just go to exposure, and I'll kind of crush the, the blacks, blacks a little, a little bit, bit there. Maybe bring the highlights up a little bit. Maybe bring the mids up a little bit. Um, just so somebody can really see it. Let me crank the saturation up. Make it a little warmer. Yeah, make, maybe warm the whole thing up a little bit. So if we go back and toggle this on and off, we can see before and after. Before and after. 
There, there we go. Yep. Okay, so we and can that, see, the, so, see the difference. Just again, that color correction is being applied to the title adjustment layer. To the, the dummy, title. The dummy title is. Exactly, but it's affecting every clip that's underneath that title. Wow. Which is, I don't have to copy paste it between clips if I've got multiple clips with the same look that need the same correction, but I can copy paste that title anywhere else in the project. It makes me think that you might be able to do that apply other things to that adjustment layer besides just well, color correction. That's the cool thing, besides color correction. Like, let's turn this color correction off. Let's say instead of a color correction, I want some kind of effect. So I'll go to the effects browser, and um, a disadvantage is you can't, let's go down to looks. Okay, we've got all these different looks. If I if I mouse over these looks, you, oh, you, don't, get a preview. you don't get the preview. You'd actually have to select the clip below, and, and then, then, you could get, then you could get the preview. Right. Let's go down to one, let's like this one called Dream. Uh, that's kind, kind of, of milky, and I'd like. maybe this one, Faded Sun. So if I drag this onto the adjustment layer, okay, it affects everything on the adjustment layer. That's so, so cool. So any effects you apply um, to that affect everything under that's it. A, that's and, great. and even, um, not necessarily as useful, but there's some interesting ways you could use this. If I go to the, back in the video inspector here, and I go to the transform controls, any transformations I make will affect everything underneath. So for instance, if I scale down. It's scaling all the clips under the adjustment yeah, layer. Yeah, I'm scaling this title, but it's scaling all the clips underneath it. So if I had a group of clips and I want the, them all to do um, sort of a picture in picture or something, this is a way I could scale them all together in one shot. That's scale cool, them, so you can rotate them, what have you, yeah, animate them. That. Yeah, and have them all affected at once. So there's a an effect on there. Maybe I could turn the color correction back on, uh, and some transformations all through one adjustment layer that you can then put anywhere you want. Excellent. So we should make one of those and publish it for. Yeah, I think we will. So I think we'll. Unfortunately, you should be able to do this with one of the titles that's already in the titles browser. Just so open you, it up and delete the title, right. save it, and. Yeah, so you wouldn't even need even to buy motion. Right. But the trick is this: you need one of a, t a title that actually has a, a placeholder Backer, in it, placeholder. and you can tell by this place this placeholder image of the mountains in the meadow hmm. only exists in some of these titles. Let's go down and find one. For instance, here, you're like, oh, I might well use this, but this guy has um, a, a graphic. graphic. And you can delete the text out of it, but you can't delete, delete the, the graphic, graphic within Final Cut Pro. So that, there, ergo, yeah. you gotta go into motion and delete the graphic right. and the text. So I think we'll, we'll just, it's so right. easy to make, we'll just okay. post one. And th these other guys I mentioned before have posted one. You can search around the internet, but if you go to uh, ripplejane.com or you sign up for a newsletter, we'll post one so people can do this as well. Excellent. Great. Well, that sounds like a really, really useful, pragmatic tip that uh, a lot of people can take advantage of. Good. Excellent. So, um, you want to check out ripplejane.com, like uh, Mark mentioned. There's tons of training on Final Cut Pro, Motion, uh, DaVinci, and soon Smoke. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. Thank you.